Well, hello there, everyone. Anyway, really quickie, there's a big thank you for all my comments on my, my previous video. That really means a lot to me. I know I don't have a lot of comments, but that still is pretty good. If you have not seen that latest video, the latest video, check it out. If you did, thank you once again. Now, if you want to check it out, it's up to you, my latest podcast. I have a guest. Um, feel free to listen to it, okay? It's audio version, so if you're doing any like stuff around the house, you can always listen to it. You know, just find the latest um, episode, just plug it in, you know, on your computer or on your phone with the speakers blurring or however you want to do it. Maybe you want to put headphones on when you're working. That's just a little tip. So, there you go. Now, let's get on with this video. Now, I am not a fan of part-time wrestlers. Especially when they have a championship around their waist. You know, it's it's silly. Like, for example, Y2J um, beat Kevin Owens, you know, before Mania, okay? Did he really need it this later on in his career? No, he did not. That is not his fault. That is just the creators and McMahon. I don't know if Y2J agrees to this. I don't know. But it is silly. Maybe they do it because help out the viewership on the pay-per-views or Raw when he goes into Raw as a champion who knows you know yes I know The Rock did it well this is The Rock he's Mr. Hollywood he could do anything he wants to almost you know that's that's still kind of made me mad back in the day when when The Rock came out of nowhere and beat CM Punk yes I know this is old topics but I'll get to my point very, very soon. Now, it will never end. It was going to keep on going. You know, part-time wrestlers get more TV time than these guys who work on TV 365 days a year. You know, um, pay-per-views, live events, make special appearances on um, talk shows. But these part-time wrestlers... They take the spotlight, you know? Like The Rock, um, Lesnar, and the list goes on and on. That is freaking bullcrap, you know? Unbelievable. Now, if you're not a ch champion, if you're a part-time wrestler, I'm okay with. Another example, The Undertaker. One last time he was a champion. When he's a full-time wrestler, I think. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I don't mind. He comes, he goes, you know? But he's more um, unique to see, you know, the entrance and music. He's freaking awesome. The other guys can't cut the mustard with the Undertaker. That's just my opinion, okay? Um, I don't know when they started this part-time stuff. I think the reason they want to do that because a lot of people these days don't like the current roster for Raw or SmackDown. I'm okay with everyone out there have their own opinion. And they bring, they try to bring on these veterans who who work very great in the Attitude Era, the Golden Era, or the Russian Aggression Era. But sometimes it does not work in this era because different times, you know? I think they just really want to try it for viewership, you know? Oh, wow, this guy came back, you know? Especially for Rumble. Rumble is okay because it's a one-time thing, maybe. Um, it all depends on the contracts, you know. I'm glad that Kurt Angle is back. He's a GM, but we all know what's going on, you know. He's a full-time GM, not like a part-time GM, you know. Mick Foley um, was a full-time GM, you know. A lot of people didn't like it, but stuff happens, you know. He had to take some time off due to he had, had surgery, you know. Will he come back? We will never know. Um, 
So, back about part-time wrestlers. It's gonna keep on going and going. You know, it will never end, okay? I guarantee TNA did that back in the day. I don't watch TNA because it's not as good in my eyes like when they first debuted back in the, in the day. Um, they got the Hardy Boys on a Raw. Um, I'm assuming they're a full-time. I know they originally had a baby. Um, Matt Hardy or Jeff Hardy, I don't remember. So they had to take some time off because from their wife, you know. I understand that, you know. That's more important. Family is more important than your than your job. That is legit, you know. Or anything you do in life, you know. Let me put this over here. I don't want to spill my water. Um, so it's, it's silly, you know. I know I, I keep discussing about this. What random people and I said to myself, I need to make a video on this. People hate on this, that's okay. People love this, that's okay. So they need to um, um, showcase the young guys more. You know, I know you're going to say, right, right, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I think the creators absolutely sucks on Raw and SmackDown sometimes, you know. It all depends, you know. And look at who's going to come back. Pretty soon, John freaking Cena, you know, July 4th. Whoopie do, you know, didn't he come back last year on July 4th? So, so technically, he is a part time wrestler. If he's a full time wrestler, he'd be there every single pay per view for SmackDown, the joint pay per views for Mania. I know he's there, I know he took some time off, but still, he's a part time wrestler. You could tell now, there's rumors that he's gonna get another title shot and break Rick Flair's record. Right now he, he he ties it. What's wrong with the champion they have now for SmackDown? Does that mean they give up on this guy? Or is it because the crowd thinks he's freaking boring? I don't know. I know he's a jobber for many, many months and out of nowhere he's a champion. You know whose fault that is? That is W's creator's fault. But back was I saying about the part time wrestlers. For example, okay, Lesnar he beat John Cena at SummerSlam 2014, I think it was. I don't remember. That match, in my opinion, was freaking dominating. Suplex after suplex after suplex. It, after a while, it got boring. So, John Cena lost the belt. I'm glad he lost because he had a belt for many, many months prior to that event. So, Lesnar won it and he took off. A hiatus. I don't know when he returned. That is freaking bullcrap. And I'm still mad about that. I know it's old news and I should get over it, you know? I shouldn't be so s s sour, you know? I don't work for WWE. I just, I just, I'm a fan like everyone else there on YouTube World or any other social media accounts. So, around WrestleMania, there's rumors that he's gonna face Goldberg. For a championship. And I said to myself. Please no. Please no. I don't want to see. A deja vu. From WrestleMania 20. And guess what happened. It happened again. Brock Lesnar. Become champion. He beat Goldberg. And the rest is history. And he took some time off. Because I guess he's. That was part of his contract. So that belt. Is probably hanging up. In, in his. Den. Or in. Wherever he probably is in a showcase to show his family, friends, you know, it's ridiculous in my eyes, you know. So, I don't mind Lesnar, but he don't need to be the champion, especially in his late, in his career, you know what I'm saying? No W superstar, if you're a part-time wrestler, should become a champion. IC champion, United States champion, Universal champion. World champion, tag team champion, you get it? That's how I feel about it. It is ridiculous, you know? I know I'm bickering. I know this is a sort of a rant, but I just want to get this off my chest, um, you know? But let me say this really quickly about um, Lesnar, his accomplishments, only in the W, only, because no one doesn't give a darn about his other accomplishments. Okay, he's four-time... Four freaking time champion of WWE. 
WWE Universal Champion one time. And listen to this. 385, I mean, 300 and, 308 days he was a champion, or Universal Champion. That definitely passed the 30 day mark, right? That's stupid. I think that's how many days I'm looking on right here. And, um, he was a King Ring Champion from 07. The Royal Rumble winner, 03. He's a five time Slammy Award. Hashtag of the year 15. Super Lock City. Match of the year 2015. For the Undertaker. Hell in a Cell. I don't think that was the match of the year in my eyes. Um. Ravi. I mean Ravi. I mean R Ravel. Oh my gosh. And hold on. R Ravel. I can't pronounce it. 2015. For the Undertaker. You know big rival. There you go. Finally. Okay, tell me, you did not say that, moment of the year, 2015, Suplex, City, two, um, WrestleMania 31, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh, moment, 2014, when he ended the streak at WrestleMania 30, that should never happen, the streak should still be intact, but whatever, um, what else, so, and he was on, Video game like shut your mouth, no your roll like that, you know. This guy, if he accepts it, he is definitely a future Hall of Famer. But I don't know if this really bugs you or just bugs me about Lesnar is a part time wrestler and he's a champion. Yeah, I think he he had a belt. I mean, I could be right, I could be wrong. I'm looking on Wikipedia. Sometimes Wikipedia is freaking wrong, but um. What does this say here? Ah, uh, son of a gun. Yeah. Yeah, 308 days. That is insane. Now, Paul Heyman was, back in the day when he first debuted with the W, was his manager, okay? Then, they gave Paul Heyman a different name, you know? It's the same thing, you know? Paul Heyman and Lesnar work great together, you know? Now, I know he has an upcoming match. You know, act, yeah, upcoming match versus him versus Samoa Joe. Now, we all know that Lesnar is going to keep the belt until Mania 34. That is freaking stupid of me. You know? What happened with the 30 day expired? You supposed to. Lesnar supposed to drop the belt already. He should actually drop the belt to, um,. Small Joe at Great Balls of Fire. It don't matter what pay-per-view it is. You know, it don't matter, does it? No. Now, now I know you're going to say, back in the day, it, it mattered. Okay? You have SummerSlam, WrestleMania, Strasheries, and the Rumble. The four freaking pay-per-views. The classic pay-per-views in my eyes. If you pass the 30-day the mark, you should automatically get stripped by the belt or... Lose that belt in the upcoming pay per view, like this one, Great Balls of Fire. I know it's not the glamorous pay per view name, but whatever. And I know they want to have the rumor right now Roman versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 32. I'm sorry, 34. We saw that at 31, not a one on one match, when Seth Rollins cashed in. That was an awesome moment. I was part of it, a lot of YouTubers was part of it, and stupid. Why you want to go back from, what, 31? Why? Stupid. Roman does not need to be in the title picture anymore. I'm not a hater, but I'm not a fan of him. It, if he was a heel for that match, and they put Brock Lesnar as the face, then it would be okay. But we all know that Roman is going to be face, and Lesnar is going to be heel. Because that's how W is wants it, you know? I think Lesnar is a better heel than the face, in my eyes. Roman, we all know. We all see... Well, we saw him... This is just another topic. I'm sorry, I was just going off subject. We saw Roman as a heel, as a, as a shield, but never solo, in my eyes. But, um... 
I'm just not a big fan of the party time wrestlers as, as champions. It's stupid. You know? And don't take all the TV time for the other people, all the wrestlers who were there since the beginning of the year. You know, 365 days. It's ridiculous, you know? The TV times, um, live events, it's silly in my eyes, you know? What's your thoughts on this matter? Do you think Lesnar should have dropped it a long time ago, the belt? Do you think, you know, it's, it's ridiculous, you know? I really want Smojo to win at Great Balls of Fire, but face facts, it's not going to happen. Hey, at least, I don't know, I'm just mind-boggling, you know? I guess W like to go back in the past instead of going forward. They must have paid Brock Lesnar lots and lots of money to hold a belt for ransom, you know, and then the other guys to just headline a pair view. But people are not very happy. They prefer Lesnar to headline a pay per view or Raw or whatever. What's your quick thoughts? Am I here? Sorry, I went a little overboard with other topics. I am not a big fan of part and wrestlers with holding belts. What about you? Be honest and have a good one. And let's get this thing rock and rolling. That's all I gotta say. Oh boy, let's see what happens tonight and raw.